Good afternoon. That Amber Alert out of Española took an ominous turn today. Well, the sheriff there and the FBI can't say for sure if there was a kidnapping. There is a widespread search going on in the girls' neighborhood, and they confirm a man has been detained, possibly in connection to her disappearance. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live near the girls' home in Española, where she was last seen. Rebecca. Well, Kim, the sheriff here tells us Renesme Calzada was last seen playing right here in her front yard yesterday morning. As for what happened from there, they aren't saying much, but there are agencies from across the state of New Mexico helping with this search, including the FBI. Uh, right now, we actually have um, a neighborhood canvas going on, uh, knocking on every single door in Renesme's neighborhood, uh, asking for anyone who has any information about perhaps what they saw what they heard in the last 24 hours that might provide us clues as to her location. The Rio Arriba County Sheriff says around 9 a.m. yesterday, five-year-old Renesme was seen playing in her front yard near McCurdy Road in Fairview Lane. She was wearing a Disney frozen t-shirt and blue shorts with stars on them. The sheriff says the girl's mother called 911 around 6 o'clock last night to report her missing. Investigators say they have no reason to believe Renesme was taken by a family member. When pressed on the man, police say they've arrested last night, possibly in connection to this case. They wouldn't say much. Right now, we have a gentleman that's been placed in in custody, and he was arrested by the Rio Riva Sheriff's uh, Department on three outstanding warrants out of uh, Bernalillo County. The sheriff's office and the FBI would not name that man nor say what, if any, connection he may have to the girl or this neighborhood. Now, as you can see, the sheriff's office is still out here as they are canvassing the neighborhood. They're also handing out these missing person flyers to everyone in the area to see if anyone knows what happened to this little girl. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, the sheriff says there is no indication that anybody saw someone approaching the girl in the front yard. Investigators are hoping there is surveillance video out there from neighbors that will provide clues about the disappearance.